there was something really wonderful about the flavours in that curry because they are subtle and they dance and they come up and you've got the crescendo of heat and spice and the smokiness of turmeric, the sweetness of cumin. Rice is lovely and free-flowing. It's really very good, isn't it? At least you've got five minutes and your cuffs don't look like they're cooked. OK, I've turned up the heat. I'll start plating, so as soon as they're done, I'll whack them on. I'm really excited about this. She's got a lot of things that I like in there, and I think it's going to taste really good if she gets the spicing right. That chutney needs to be perfectly balanced if it's just going to be the two items on the plate. How did I look, boss? Oh, I could have done with another two, three minutes, but um, we don't have the time, so I'm just going to have to serve them, I'm afraid. Got to serve now, Nisha, please. Okay, fine. Well done. Off you go. Well done. Hello there. Hi. Right. There you are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Today I've cooked for you a lamb keema puff pie and it's served with a coriander mint and bramley apple chutney. Hope you enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. I really like it. Pastry's cooked really well. The filling's really nice. The meat's not dry or chewy. It's nicely spiced without being over the top. The use of the Bramley apple in that chutney is really clever. It adds freshness, acidity, then cut through that spicy lamb. Genius idea. It's mm. great. Mm. That chutney is inspired. And I love the filling because it's really well spiced. It's comforting. I love it. The heat, the spice, the flavour. It's like someone stuck a chilli in your ear. You've got ten minutes, Nisha. OK. We doing well? I think so, yeah. I'm just going to wait for my rice to get my curries done. Uh, that's just on um, a very low heat, just keeping it warm. And my rice is <laughs> nearly there. It's cooking. Gurren spices are pretty mild. So, again, I think with, with her, um, it's all about the spicing. Are you happy with all your elements, Nisha? Do you know what? My rice... Tiny bit soft. Just get your coconut and the kitchen. Nisha? Yeah? That looks nice. Go. Oh, Smells great. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, these are quite heavy. <laughs> Thank you, Nisha. Okay. Today I've cooked for you a going salmon curry with some cumin rice and some kachumbra. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I love the way the layers of flavour start to build up and then that heat comes in at the end. And for me, when somebody does that, they understand how to use the spices. She has taken care not to overcook the fish. I think that's a really accomplished thing to do. And then she made the rice. You can see that it's nice and fluffy and it's flavoured with uh, cumin. I just want to eat the whole bowl. There was something really wonderful about the flavours in that curry because they are subtle and they dance and they come up and you've got the crescendo of heat and spice and the smokiness of turmeric, the sweetness of cumin. Rice is lovely and free-flowing. It's really very good, isn't it? The salmon is flaky and that curry is mild and it's creamy and the whole thing is a little bit yummy. When I was nearly there and I had completed nearly everything and now I could see the finish line, I was really elated and I felt really happy. So um, it's a big challenge. I'm just glad that I managed to get all eight plates out to them.